Hey there guys, what's going on? So, today's video is huge in so many ways that I'm not even sure if I can go into it with enough description to tell you just how huge it is. So we're just going to kind of summarize each particular portion. First of all, this video is huge from an advanced release sense and getting records early, getting vinyl early, getting music early, which time and again I can't state enough how cool and how special that is. So from an advanced release sense, it's huge. From the state of this man's music, how he seems to always make headlines for one reason or another, for announcing new solo work, for announcing a new project, for announcing a new uh, gimmick or idea or invention, or maybe putting his foot in his mouth in a press release a few times. This man's music and what he does just makes the news. It, may, it gets word of mouth, it gets things going on, it gets things happening, whether he's in front of the mic or he's behind it planning it out. But in this case, it is his solo work, his latest solo work. So it's huge in a musical sense. It's big in terms of this channel and this reboot and what I'm trying to put out here for all, of you, for all of you to see and hopefully for a lot more of you to see and to really build this thing up and to really create it and make it into something. This is a huge moment right here. This is a watershed moment, something big, something anticipated. I'm not even going to try to cover all the bases. The point being, this record today, Jack White with the Lazaretto LP is here finally. It's also huge because this LP, while this is going to be the standard edition release that you will see in stores and record stores online, all of that, this record is so unique in its composition and how it is put together that it will not only change perhaps how people choose to go about how they make their records if they're trying to do something special, but will also change up the way we go about this video. We're going to meet up over there and do some things. And I'm going to be entirely spontaneous here today. And I haven't even opened this record yet. I barely got it out of its packing uh, container because I wanted to uh, share it with all of you as I did recently with the Connor Oberst Upside Down Mountain LP and the Bob Mould Beauty and Ruin LP. This is a big moment right here. I can't reiterate that enough. So let's drop all the pretense, all the introduction. There's going to be a review to go along with this. There are going to be bonus songs. There's going to be lots of Jack White Lazaretto content. I don't even want to try to begin to explain it all because there will be such a roundabout, all over the place rabbit hole that everybody, and myself included, I'll be the first one, will just get lost. So let's get into it right here, right now. Jack White, Lazaretto LP, coming at you strong here today. Okay, so first off, we have the cover, of course, which we'll try to get in the shot there, kind of going similarly with uh, Jack's solo, uh, solo motif, which features a lot of uh, sort of a gothic, gothic expression of some things happening uh, with the angels and such. A strong emphasis on the darker colors, on the blue, uh, that sort of a scheme that he's been going with. The, uh, the trusty hat, while not on his head, is never too far away. Uh, on the back, I'm not really too sure uh, what this is about. Uh, this, this part of uh, the album design. I know that a lot of what has been a lot of the lyrical structure and the things for Lazaretto were inspired by Jack White's much younger writings when he was a much younger man, uh, like in his teens and such. So I don't know if this is a, a sort of applying to an early earlier period of his life, something like that, perhaps. I don't really know, but that's that's your your front and your back cover. I will apologize in advance if somehow I do miss anything in all of the cacophony and all of the hubbub of all the hubbub of all, the hubbub of all of this presenting this record uh, I'm really been looking forward to this moment really looking forward to not only experiencing this myself seeing what this whole ultra LP thing was about but getting to share this with you guys and getting to put this out for you spontaneously off off the bat you're 
with me as I open this record for the first time and we're going to experience it together as much as possible. So if I miss anything, it's just out of sheer excitement for being able to get to this moment and finally uh, being able to see just what these new, these new things Jack White has created have in store for all of us. Anyway, we're going to start opening here on the back because optimally I want to be able to save that little Ultra LP sticker there. Hopefully that'll just slide right off. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And let's see. Um, actually, for the most part, I have a feeling you'll be seeing this type of segment for my channel in the future, where I won't give myself a lot of advanced preparation, which, you know, might be... Uh, you know, I might live or die by that, but at the same time, I think there's a certain element of spontaneity that should be there, so I think you'll be seeing this a lot more often. Surprisingly, it is actually a single fold record. Uh, maybe that's why it was limited. Uh, it was still only 20 bucks in price, despite the all these new features and stuff that he incorporated. Um, it's a nice, nice single fold, though. Uh, I was expecting a gatefold to have to show you guys actually, so I'm kind of surprised it's not in there. But the uh, the the quality of the the stock is really good. Feels heavy in my hands. Um, it's got a good like a good thickness to it. It doesn't feel cheaply made. See like the the center there. I, you can't really get much of an indication just through video, but it's got a nice feel to it. It's got like a um, kind of a texture. Uh, on both sides. Right away here we have uh, we have the lyric sheet which is Im immediately very interesting because okay so this actually this applies more to what I just said there a little bit ago about Jack taking these writings from when he was uh, a younger man and this is very interesting because, of course, it has the lyric sheets. You can see all that stuff and the, uh, the angel right there behind it. Uh, and the same applies on the back side, uh, which is pretty cool. But it's interesting because... Um, is it on just the one side or two? It looks like, uh, no, it looks like it's just on one side. Um, on th there's something called the admitting of patients, one act, person one, male or female. I fantasize about hospital beds, jail, work camps, the army. I thought of branding myself, tattooing a message to myself with a symbol that I can't be at peace with anyone, a raft, a boy in the water. I'm hurt but not afraid of physical pain male or female, person two, male or female, I don't feel very good about myself, people always leave me, nobody can stand me for very long, I wish I could cut my tongue out or take out the part of my brain that has opinions or cares, I wish I could be simple, be quiet, introverted or shy, I'm halfway in between a wallflower at a party and Elvis Presley, people love one or the other, in between is no place to be, person three, I see. Other than that, it's an odd little section, but I'll just I'll show you real quick. It's it's up here in this corner, what I just read off. Uh, other than that, though, the lyrics for all 11 songs are here. Uh, pretty much the standard group uh, guys and, and girls that he's been using uh, in his band. Uh, Darv Jones, drummer. Uh, Corey Younce plays a bunch on here. Um, Catherine Popper is on bass for some songs. She used to be in Ryan Adams and the Cardinals. Uh, she's been in his band pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, consistently over the last year or so when he was doing the touring for uh, Blunderbuss. Uh, you've got uh, Dean Fertitta on a song from, uh, you know, who Jack collaborated with in The Dead Weather. Uh, Ruby Amonfu doing more background vocals. Um, uh, Lily Mae Reich on some background vocals. I was actually wondering about that. Uh, so it looks like it features both sides. 
uh, both sides of his band, the bands, the male and female side, all pretty much all the familiar cast and characters are back here. And there's a, uh, oh that's interesting, um, there's the download card, I won't show you that because I'm going to be using that because uh, I have a, a different copy, a di digital copy that's not nearly as, as good. Uh, the, but it says on this side, which is very interesting, the A side of this record includes a hologram track by Tristan Duke. For best results, place a single spotlight directly above turntable. And you can find out more, I guess find out more about the guy on infinitylightscience.com. I'll show you, get up real nice and tight there if we can. We cannot, probably, because it's me, but see, there you go. We'll look at that more in a minute, actually. And inside here is the, the, the feature of the hour, the great bonus of bonuses. It is not the vault package, of course, uh, that they did for Lazaretto, which I'm sure has many, many more interesting things in it than this. But still, it is the thing that has been long speculated over. The thing from uh, the, the video that they put out on Third Man Records that you could look at. And here it is, in all of its majesty. And, wow. And there's a lot going on here. And we're going to meet over there in a second to talk about it further once I've puzzled some of these things out. But the record itself is very, very intriguing. Because your side one is pretty standard, you know, it, it, it's going to be very hard to show you this in the light, I think, and have it catch, but it looks very, you know, standard the way that they usually do, uh, but there's a lot of, a lot of lines and things in the middle, uh, I think to do with the, uh, the looping, although, no, 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 they, they both have locking grooves, so the loop just keeps going, but I think, no, I think this might be the, be the side. See, I have to, I'd have to refresh on the, the, the video that they did on Third Man of the, the, I think this is the one that plays instead of outside to in, it plays inside to out. It plays in reverse in reverse order. I'm going to find out more about that in just a minute when we continue this video. In fact, this video may be in two parts. That just came into my head and I may choose to do that, but we'll we'll see shortly. Uh, but on that side, that's what that looks like it is. And then on side two, you have the 78 look matte finish that they talked about. And I hope that that will pick up. Again, I don't know if it really will. The A side also, in addition to playing the op in the opposite direction, is the side with the holographic angels on it. So we're going to try to get a look at that. I'm going to try to get a, a look at that and then, and then try to shoot it for you guys. So what I think we're going to do here for the first time for an unboxing video, since we are running... Uh, up there in time right now. I am going to split this. You will see this beginning uh, introduction and unboxing of things in part one and then in part two uh, we'll go over some of the other features and stuff that I'm actually I'm going to look into it a little bit more see how I can film it on camera and show you guys and we'll go through uh, the uh, the grooves, the grooves that goes from the inside out. We'll go into the angels thing. Uh, we'll go into uh, the tracks that are buried under each of the labels, and maybe we'll try to go into the um, the acoustic or electric intro to. I believe it's just one drink, but I have to look it up. But that's it for this side of the video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, lots of stuff to talk about there. Uh, very mesmerizing sort of thing. So we'll meet back over. We'll, we'll meet back in the next video to go up along with this one, and we'll be over there, and we'll talk more about some of the other features. So 
finish this video, get to the last second, go over to the next video, and I will see you all over there.